Midah Daf Lamed Zayin. We learned the other day that if a woman sees dam during labor and it's in the ziva days, that dam is completely tar. Rav, who said that she's like a nida, retracted that at the end of his life and completely tar. Rav Yitzchak said the same thing. Even Shmuel holds that it's only Midah Rabbanan. The question is, this dam that's tar, does it have the ability to be soicer clean ziva days? That is, if a woman is counting seven ziva days, she has to make sure that those seven days don't have any dam. But what about this dam that's not real dam? It's dam that's tar. Does it have the ability to break the days and that she would have to start counting all over again? In other words, do we need something that has the ability to create tumma during those days in order to be soicer or not? Says the Gemara, that according to Rabbi Eliezer, it does have the ability to break her clean days and she would have to start counting again. Why? Because Rabbi Eliezer holds by a Zav. The third time that you check a Zav, you have to make sure that he's not an Oynas, that it didn't happen from other activities such as jumping. That Ziva, if it did happen by Oynas, it doesn't count. It breaks his clean days Yet, it doesn't count as Ziva. So you see that it doesn't have to count, it doesn't have the Tumah, but it has the power to break the Shiva Nakim. So too by the Dam, even though it doesn't have the power to give Tumah, it has the power to break. According to Chachamim though, says Abaya, it's not so easy, Because the Gemara brings a Lashon, it says, Ma Goram, what does Ziva cause? It causes seven days of being Tumah. And because it causes seven days of being tummy, if somebody sees ziva during those days that he's trying to be clean, he would have to start all over again. It causes seven days of tumma, therefore it causes also that you have to start all over again. Mashengen, if somebody sees keri, keri is weaker, it only gives one day of tumma. So if you see keri during your clean days, it only breaks it for one day. But since we use the lotion of gara, what was gara what caused, so the more directions from there, that in order for something to break the clean days, it has to be able to cause Tumah. The Gemara discusses, does birth have an effect on the clean Ziva days? And do the days following birth, can they be counted towards the clean Ziva days? Says the Gemara, birth doesn't have an effect on Ziva. So if a woman was counting clean seven clean Ziva days, let's say she counted four days and then she gave birth, it doesn't destroy everything she counted, she just continues counting at a later date to make up to seven. The question is, the days following her birth, let's say she gave birth to a girl, so she has to wait 14 days of Tumah, and then only then she has the Harad days. Can she use those days, if she didn't see any dam, towards her clean Ziva days? So we have a Machlekes, Abaye and Rava, and we mentioned it the other day. According to Abaye, the days don't count. So she would have to wait for the 14 days to be over and only then start counting. And according to Rava, the days do count. And the Gemara brings rise to both sides. It says in the Braisa that it says in the Pasuk, She's done with her ziva and she counts, says the Gemara. She has to make sure that she's clean from ziva but not from tsaras and not from birth. In other words, Saras is not going to undo her counting, her clean days. She could be tummy from Saras and it has no effect on her clean days of Ziva, and she could be tummy from Leda and has no effect on her Ziva. So you see that the birth doesn't have an effect on the Ziva. Abai says, no, we can only learn one thing, and we're going to learn that Saras has no effect. He says, Rabbo, but you can't learn Saras because we have a possible by the Zav. We learn from Zav. It says, Abaya, no, you need a Pasuk by Zav and you need a Pasuk by Zav. Because there's a Chumra by both. A Zav is, he needs three Riyais even in one day. And a woman needs three Riyais in three consecutive days. She needs Yomim, not just Riyais. And a woman becomes Tomei, Be'oinus, even if there was extra stimulus from another source, like jumping or disease, she's still tummy, and a man, no. So therefore you need two psukim. Another raya is, because it says, the voice titma, as we had yesterday, from the voice titma, we learn three halachas. First halacha is that the husband assumes the same tumma as the yuleda. So he becomes like a nido. 
Second halacha is that the tum is even at night. I would have a half a minute that's only by day because it says shiva siyamim. And the third halacha is that you need shiva nikim. L'chayra nikim means even from birth. So you might know, you can be doich and say no, nikim means from dam. And another raya, it says in the b'raisa, kimei nidasa kachimei leidasa. That just like the nida cannot be in the days of ziva, so too the leida, there's, there's no ziva in the days of leida. Now the problem is that it's impossible physically to have nida during ziva and ziva during nida. It's seven days of nida and only after those seven days you have ziva. After the 11 days of ziva you have seven days of nida. But they don't go together. Whereas leida and ziva go together. It says the Gemara that it goes according to Reb Lezer. And Reb Lezer also holds that donim efshar mishi'i efshar. In other words, by carbon Pesach for instance, Reb Lezer holds that we learn that you cannot purchase a carbon Pesach with Meisr Shani money in Mitzrayim, although there's no Meisr Shani in Mitzrayim, so you see, Donim, I Efshar me Efshar, Efshar me Efshar. According to Rav Chadri Bar Ami, or according to Rav Sheshes, there's a Hekish. There's a Hekish, and there's no, you cannot answer a Hekish, and that's how I learn, neither from your letters. And finally, the Gemara asks, what happens if a woman, we were discussing a woman who was in labor pain and she stopped having labor pain, but the dam continued? What if both the dam and the labor pain continued? It's but Both the dam and the labor pain stop. According to Rebchanina, she's completely tar. And he gives a marshal, he says, when a king goes into a city, he sends his troops beforehand. That's the dam before the labor, the dam before giving birth. So although she stopped, but you know the king is coming soon, the baby's coming soon, so it's connected, the, the birth is connected. Says Rav Chizda, Adi Rabba, if it was connected, she shouldn't stop at all, why did she have this large stop? Raya, that's not connected. It does say in the Mishnah that she stopped seeing dam. She stopped having pain, but she continued seeing dam. Is mashma that she stopped both, says the Gemara, she would be tar. Says the Gemara the opposite. You can be, you can understand that if she stopped seeing both, then she would be tame because then they have nothing to do with the birth. And therefore it's just regular damido, which would make her tame have a wonderful day and a great Shabbos.